so amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokerios and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone that's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. How are you guys doing? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you would, please double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure you hit that bell notification. And when you hit the bell notification, make sure it's to all notifications that way you will be notified when i post videos i know uh this is kind of like some crazy bad news but i was off on an engagement for a long week or about 10 days and uh on my way back of course you know when i'm away and i'm with my family i don't let you guys know i'm just letting y'all know that that's just the type of person that i am i don't put all my business out there in the world like that um but anyway i heard that jamie fox had a stroke and uh, I heard that he was blind and it was paralyzed. I don't know the full story to it, but there's all kind of things out there, guys. I'm not going to go into all the details of it, of what sources said what, but I did do a lot of reading and research. Trust me, I did. I know you guys trust me, but if you don't believe me, I recommend you go do it yourself as well. But sources say that Jamie Foxx had a really bad stroke to where it caused blindness and also paralysis. I don't know which side of his body whether it's bilateral, in other words, both sides, or if it's unilateral, or it's just one side, he had a stroke. And they said it was due to a blood clot, and we don't know if it's due to the hokey pokey, but that's what sources are saying. But we do know that there have been a lot of adverse effects from hokey pokey that when you do get the hokey pokey that they wanted you to get for that number 19, that we in the hospitals have been seeing people that have been coming in with clots. I have a close personal friend of mine, one of my best friends that I grew up with in my church. They did it. And they got clots as well and had to be on them for a very, very long time. So thank God that she's okay. You know, we tried to get an interview with her, but because of the embarrassment and all that, and she didn't want to do an interview with me, which is completely fine. And Jamie Foxx's case, I just want to say we definitely are wanting some prayers for him. It was said that he only got the Hokey Pokey 19 because he was pressured to do it for this movie. That's what the rumor is. I don't know. I can't confirm whether that is true or whether it is not true. But for those of you, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is one of the areas that I did specialize in when I was a treating clinician in physical therapy. Shout out to somebody that is a stroke specialist that trained me and taught me right when I was fresh out of school, Matthew Komnick. And shout out to another therapist that did some training with me. In Florida, Gail Darnell, who is an excellent therapy in treating a whole lot of neurological defects like this stroke. Okay, so to some of you guys that do not know, I'm going to show you all a demonstration right here. So uh, give me a chance and I'll show you all real quick. Take a break right here. Check this out. All right, so you guys saw that. So what happens is this. What you guys just saw, and I know I talked really fast through that, is that whenever you have a clot in the brain or something like that, when it becomes such a place to where it's causing like some type of occlusion or it's causing some a place to completely be cut off, blood is not able to go through the blood vessels to that part of the brain to feed it nutrients and all that to keep it functioning right. So what happened is within definitely seconds and minutes, the brain will begin to actually die. Like it would, it's a quick little process. It's a quick process, right? And that's why it's so important for the brain to have oxygen in the blood vessels that carry that rich blood. It also carries oxygen to the brain as well. When the brain becomes deoxygenated, it can start to die. And when it starts to die, whatever part of that brain that carried out certain functions to and for the body, that part will be affected by it. That's why a person can become paralyzed. And in Jamie Foxx's case, what sources are claiming is that he is blind. So two things can happen. He could have had a stroke in what we call the optic nerve or the, the, the blood vessels that actually supply the optic nerve with oxygen or nutrition. Or he could have had it in a part of the brain that the optic nerve goes over. Because what happens is this. When you have your eyes, your eyes go through something called an optic chasm where it crisscrosses over. So even though he had the stroke, the stroke can happen on the right side of the brain, but it's going to affect the left side of the body. 
It's, I know it's weird because there's a chasm there, it crosses over. So anyway, there's also a part of the brain, well, I'm sorry, the eyes, where the nerve travels to that's connected to a certain part of the brain that goes to the back. So as of right now, I can't tell you guys, I can only suspect, because like I said, treating these, he could have had it in the optic nerve, he could have had it further back in a portion of the brain that the optic nerve actually goes to as well. He could have had it in the chasm, in other the crisscross portion. If you, I know I'm talking fast, I get excited because this is the stuff that I've done. And if he had it in any of those parts, that can cause blindness as well. That can also cause paralysis. But here's the deal. I don't know all the specs of where he had it at, how bad it is or anything like that. Until we, able to, until we are able to see videos on actually what Jamie Foxx is capable of doing and not doing, we can only speculate. Sources also said that Jamie Foxx was seen playing pickleball. I don't know. I haven't seen any pictures. I myself would have to see some real life movement. Nick Cannon came out and said Jamie Foxx will address his fans when he is ready. I don't know how Jamie Foxx is going to do that because a lot of times when you have a stroke, there's a good chance that speech can be affected by it as well. Speech can be affected. Muscle tone, neurological deficits can happen. And so with a stroke, what you would want to do to treat that, you want to, once they, if you for the clot, most likely they gave him blood then to go in there and break the clot up. If not, in his case, he got a lot of money. It's a good chance. Some of them doctors might have went in there with a, you know, with like a, a device that goes in there and they can break the clot up, get it out of there. They can do a bypass where they give him a new type of artery to bypass the part of his brain that might have been dead and nutrients were supplied to, to form a new type of pathway to get fresh blood there. I don't know what they did, okay? I'm just letting you guys know these are some of the options that he had, you know, depending on how severe it is. Uh, but if they once they clear all that up, get him on the blood thinners, one of the number one things they would have to do is make sure they have him up. He has to be up. You want to try to gain back as much muscle function as you possibly can. And typically they had this thing to going around theorizing that you didn't want to try to get it back as much muscle and much ability and mobility and functionality within a year's time. But based on my experience, you can still gain back beyond that, but it's going to be in very small increments. So what we know just from experience is that the best window to be able to gain as much functionality back is going to be within a year's time but again you still can gain more function and be more mobile afterwards but in jamie fox cases i hope they have some of the best clinicians therapists that's going to be on top of this but i'm just telling you from experience you are going to want to be on him every day he's going to need if i don't know if he's affected by uh you know if he's affected with his speech but he will need all three disciplines Right. So in this case, like what I do right now with a lot of facilities that I direct over, we would have all three disciplines on Jamie Foxx, speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy. And most likely in his case, because he got the money, we definitely would have him having therapy bilateral twice. BID is what we call it. That's twice a day. He would have it BID twice a day. He would have it in the morning. He would have it in the afternoon. And both all sessions, most likely, is going to be hard. We will try to get it to where occupational therapy would be with him for an hour. Physical therapy would be with him for an hour. And it's a good chance that uh, speech therapy would be with him anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how severe he is again. But no matter what, if he has any type of weakness whatsoever, physical therapy and occupational therapy, it will be completely aggressive. It will be aggressive to where they're trying to just really hit him hard. In my case, because of my experience, what I've done with people in the past, when I was a treating clinician, when I was a treating therapist at the time, we would make sure that he's definitely sitting up, making sure that the core is on par. We will make sure we're trying to, we will we'll, we'll depend on his strength. We'll try to stand him up, see how long he can maintain it. If he can't stand up and maintain for certain times, we will do that same exact thing anywhere, minimum 50 times. Even if he's exhausted. Okay, we're going to rest for a little bit, Mr. Fox. Okay, we're going to put this oximeter on you. Your heart rate is good. Stand, even if you, oh man, I'm so, no, we got to get, you have to do it. It's going to be a long, hard fighting road to where he is going to have to fight, battle, work hard within his first. Again, I'm only doing this based off of how I'm speculating his severity is. But when you go blind, and I don't know if it's on both sides or if it's on one side, I don't know. I do not know. But a lot of things are going to have to come to play when it comes to his recovery. And I hope he has some of the best clinicians, best therapists that's going to be working with him. And I hope that these therapists is going to be working with him. I hope they most likely, I'm pretty sure, y'all.
know their stuff. They're probably going to specialize in it because we do have clinicians. Like, for example, if I have clinicians in a certain region where I direct or whatever the facilities that I direct, or if I have certain clinicians in that area and we have a patient that have a stroke or a hemorrhage or a TIA, something of that sort, I would make sure that I'm putting my therapist that most likely specialize in that on them with them. You know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of therapists can have you know, a general knowledge of that, but ones that may be specialized in it, those are going to be the ones you want on there. So anyway, I just wanted to do this video just to kind of make you guys aware of that and what could be done. But definitely in this case, from the minute he had it way back, uh, if they said he had this a month ago, I don't know because they said Mike Tyson came out and said that he had a stroke. Okay. And now they're saying that it was a, from a clot. No matter what, it's still going to be the same thing, whether they call it a, a stroke, occlusion, ischemic attack, Whatever type of whatever type of issue he had on his brain to cause paralysis or the blindness, if that happened a month ago, I hope that somebody was on top of it and already had this man in rehab and aggressive rehab, no matter how small or severe it was. But the fact that they're saying right now, it makes me and it leads me to believe that maybe he possibly had it twice. And that's one reason why if a person does have a stroke, that they put them on blood thinners, they put them on certain medication, because it is a good chance that a lot of times they do have another one within a certain period of time. And they watch for that. They watch for clots in various different places all over the body. And they can travel. We don't know where the clot started at, but we do know that it ended in the brain area, which caused them to have this. So, again, I know it can be confusing because... Uh, a lot of folks don't know this side of your body, this side of your brain, better yet, it controls this side. This side of your brain, it controls this side. There's a crisscross over that happens, and I know it's weird, but whenever we had to do like cadavers, we always knew when a person is lying supine, we always had our hands like this so we could say if we're doing something on them, that's their right side. You know, like this, that's their left side. You know, so that's how we think about it in terms like that. So anyway, again, prayers for Jamie Foxx. Hope everything is well. Hope there's a good recovery there. But the fact that if this happened a month ago and no one has no video, no one is speaking out, Jamie Foxx is not showing himself or anything like that, not speaking. I'm just saying based off experience, I am led to believe that this may be a pretty severe ischemic or stroke or clot in his brain, brain bleed, hemorrhage, whatever it may be. It must be really really severe because if it was minor we would kind of know i don't know the guy's name i think it's uh i forget his name but y'all know he did pennywise he did i'm a sweet transvestite tim i think that may be his name don't know his last name but when he had i think he had a stroke we were able to see how severe it was because he started to show himself and if jamie fox had this a month ago and they're not showing him i'm speculating based off my professional opinion that it must be pretty severe it must be bad Nick Cannon said Jamie Foxx will speak to fans whenever he's ready. I don't know if Nick Cannon said Jamie Foxx told me he will speak to fans when he's ready because I don't know if Jamie Foxx is even speaking. A lot of body systems can be affected. This is a neurological issue because the brain is part of the central nervous system. It pretty much controls information going out and, and actually it perceives information coming in. It's called afferent and efferent. If it's afferent, it's information going out, going away. If it's efferent, it's information entering in. So, if we try to have him move himself and he can't do it because that's information the brain is trying to say to go out, which will let us know how severely affected he is. But there's also a thing that you can do where you can test their reflex. Like you can sometimes hit that part of the knee to make the reflex kick out. He couldn't physically do it himself because that's information he's trying to kick out. But the body is designed in a way that some places are actually made to reflex where if you hit his knee, it will kick out because when we hit it, that's information going in. And sometimes depending on how bad it is, that brain doesn't need to, the brain, I mean, the body is so unique that that signal of me hitting you in your knee, that signal only travels portion up to the low back and the low back is like, okay, I already know what this is, kick back out and it'll kick out. So anyway, I know y'all, I get excited about this. I get to talking fast about it, but again, I'm going to close with this. Just, I just pray that he's okay. I hope that the things that they're talking about when it comes to the hokey pokey being in the arm, that he got pressure to do it. And now his life is severely affected by this. Pray for them, folks. That's all we that's that's the main thing we can do. But at the same time, don't get pissed off at us who's saying, well, if he wouldn't have got that V, that V19, this may this wouldn't have happened. Don't get pissed off at anybody that's doing it because they and we can speculate all we want to about any celebrity, any pro athlete, any human being that end up having these certain symptoms and these adverse effects that we know that the C-19 
the scene can cause. Because anytime during the past two, I'm not letting it go. The past two and a half, three years, anytime somebody so much as even sneezed, coughed, y'all, oh, you might got COVID-19. You might, oh, get away. You, y'all speculated and put that on everybody else. So don't get pissed off because anybody that might suddenly died, anybody all of a sudden completely healthy like Jamie Foxx, all of a sudden got clots and all this stuff like that. From what we know, we don't know his medical background, medical history, but you can only speculate. What happened? Don't get pissed off that they gave DeMar Hamilton the whole oh, commotion cordis. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. Don't get pissed off because all these athletes that are suddenly passing away and dying, completely healthy, don't get pissed off because we all speculating that it came from that C-19 vax, and we know that those are some of the side effects. Don't get pissed off because of that. Myocarditis and pericarditis, do not get pissed off because people are going to speculate and say that's what it is because... They have a right to do that. Just like y'all were saying that people like folks that were sneezing and coughing, doing anything, scratching, itching. Y'all just instantly, I can't eat, I bet they got COVID. You know, get, you, don't, don't. But at the same time, folks, this is what it is. If that is why Jamie Foxx had this, that's just part of it, folks. They were warned. You were warned. And anything that might come with an adverse effects, all I can do is pray for him. The message was out there. The word was out there. The research is out there. And if people decided not to do it, good. If people decided to get the VAC 19 because they felt that's what they thought was best for them. And if they end up having any type of adverse effects, I'm just being honest with you. I'm not going to, aha, I told you so. I to I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say, all I can do is just pray for you and support you to it. But I did warn you. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, folks, don't forget to double check and make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel, okay? Make sure you hit that bell notification. When you hit it, make sure it's set to all notifications. That way you will be notified if I do a premiere like this or if I go live. All right, folks. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that Jamie Foxx and you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray that every last one of you, along with Jamie Foxx, are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.